yeah hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to discuss about so how to use the jmeter okay so why we need to use the jmeter so uh, we have a lot of tools to test the performance of the application in the bulk content okay for example if you want to test the load test and performance test we have a lot of tools okay so among the tools jmeter gives the best performance okay currently i'm working with the azure so the task is um i already i have deployed one application in app service okay so the app service is come connected with the database azure database now i will push the data from the jmeter okay bulk content so later uh, so i will check the data and responses in the application insights so how to check and how to um uh, perform this kind of performance test and load test from the jmeter okay so first of all how to open the jmeter and how to install the plugins and install the um backend listener for azure okay going forward we will discuss one by one okay now i will go to the downloads so already i have downloaded the apache jmeter now go to the bin and find the batch file and if you click on the batch file it will open the jmeter okay so you can see this is the jmeter batch file if you click on that so so it will automatically open the batch file okay now we will start our operation so when you open the file so automatically you will get the test plan okay right click and add the threads thread group so now you have to add the thread group okay before that uh, i will show you one thing so when you create any okay any http request or anything first you need to keep in mind these three things you need to in, in install okay you need to use one is the http header manager for the content type you need to define the content type okay for example content type is uh, json for example you want to send the json file or xml files you need to you need to use the media type he headers so for that purpose you need to use the http header manager okay so the backend listener and view uh, view result tree we will check okay first of all go to the options you need to find out the plugin manager okay in this plugin manager azure backend listener whether it exists or not please check so otherwise um just a minute if you click on the option if it's this option is not appear so what we will do you have to download already i have downloaded for you you can see the backend listener azure and the plugins manager so i have downloaded both before okay so that's why i am getting this option okay after that the azure backend listener i have installed okay now i will add the listener backend listener okay in that backend listener what i have to do so so first of all i will add the http sampler and http request okay so in this http request you need to add the server name and the you need to mention the get type or post type what type of method you want to use and the path you have to give okay so let me add the server name this is my app service i'm going to open my app service okay this is my back end url of my app service okay if you click on the apis first of all you have to copy this okay this is the back end url api and paste over here now we have to give the path so how to choose the path okay so this is my get method controller action method so if you copy and paste over here you can see copy this and paste over here okay so what i am doing i am testing okay i am retrieving this all data i have a lot of data here thousands of data in my database azure database i am retrieving okay this is app service 
okay basically you should not use the backend url directly you have to use the api um, but uh, just for the testing purpose i'm using this to understand better okay um, what we have done the server name we have given and the http type this is the verb is given get and the um, path now we need to give the backend listener okay so before that we need to use another one that is the view results tree okay okay i will explain one by one again the backend listener is for to mention the connection string to communicate with the app insights because when you uh, push the data when you push the bulk data or when you retrieve the bulk data um, you need to see that response in application insights so how you have to see so you have a source you have a some kind of the key is there so based on that key you can navigate your you can see your response on the application set so what is that key that is a connection string okay so to connect with the app insights so go to the app insights click on the overview and the connection string copy this connection string okay that's enough so now http is for um, to define and server name and path and everything the backend is needed for the define the so connection string to check the response of your bulk data so after that view result so what is view results tree so in this view result you can check the response okay so now click on the if you are using the support data you should save that okay i'm going to store in Okay, desktop okay I'm storing on desktop you can see the request is successfully submitted so you can see okay you are getting the data very clumsy but this data is submitted you can see the product one okay okay let me change the okay now you can see uh, after purify the data you can see this is the thousands of data I am getting. Okay. Now we will check the response. So you can see here the live metrics. Click on the live metrics. You can see the difference. Okay, here is our application and click on the start button and again check here. You can see the request rate is, yeah, you can see. Okay, again I'm clicking and you can see another one. Again I'm clicking another one. Okay, like that we can check the response. Okay. So till now what we have discussed so how to use the so how we use the JMeter with the get method so how to uh, get the response so how to check the response bulk amount of response okay you can see okay this is the bulk amount of response thousands of data so on how to check this response in Azure apps um, app insights with the live metrics and you can check the failures and availability test and everything you can check okay
okay thank you guys okay in the next session i will discuss with the load test okay so how to submit the bulk amount of data to database okay now we discussed about the bulk amount of retrieving so i will discuss about the next session um, thousands of data i will push from the jmeter okay that is also app service okay thank you so much guys